well, five years ago today, I released a map called World Trade Center. I spent quite a bit of time on it. It was one of my very first maps in Sauerbrotten. And today I'm going to see if I can still access it. I haven't this map for years. Uh, the irony is I, a long time, refused to play Minecraft because I thought it was inferior to Sauerbrotten, which it is. But in the last few years, hey, gotten addicted to it and I play Minecraft instead of this game. So, and also briefly, No Man's Sky, but let's not discuss that depressing situation. So let's try this. So, it should be map. There it is. That's loading. And I never did put the sound in this map that I wanted to. Although I have the recording of street sounds and such, I never actually put it in here. And there it is. Start up. It's looking pretty okay. This is uh, pretty much the scale. And this is the scale, actually it is the scale height and such. Um, the only issue was that the block size prevented me from putting as many vertical beams and stuff and such as there are in the real one. But for the naked eye it looks indiscernible. So this is pretty crazy. I also I detail of course the main buildings and um, building 7 I believe it's called. <laughs> I don't even follow this conspiracy stuff anymore so I don't even know. Um, so first of all let's look at the water. So it's pretty cool. Oh, a little bit of lag there. There's the magical collapsing building, whatever. So we come here. So this building is closed off. This isn't the one with the visitor deck. Um, I did not fully... Uh, at the time I made this, I had found some blueprints and stuff, but there's very limited information on what was there. So. Um, as you can see the street level, where the street entrance was, you can come down here, and this was a hotel or something, this is like the entrance to it, and underneath here was actually a parking lot, and here I believe is my arrow to help people find their way into the building. There's another hotel, it's really quite a big facility, and there was something down there, streets. And I believe this was, uh, in the real one, this was actually like a open area for the cars to get sunlight, but maybe exhaust too. And what else? So we come in here. And I, because it's almost perfect, the one little mistake with the grass there, let's just ignore that. So we come here. And the slob. This side is came out really good, quite spectacular. So, oh yeah, I forgot to detail all that. Some of these buildings are really difficult to do in Sauerbrot because they're at an angle. But there they are. And there was like a walkway there. And so let's go, to actually go up the elevator you had to actually go down these stairs. I believe that's because people who worked here and parked here, these would have been doors from the parking lot, so they would have not actually, probably only tourists really ever accessed the towers from these levels. Normal employees would have always gone through here. And they had, even I think from the attack in the 90s, they already had put in these type of guard systems for the elevator access. And... So there's our elevator. Just the building is pretty much almost all elevators. That's what kind of shocked me how much <laughs> room was taken up by the elevators. So let's go through. And this was, uh, I don't know what floor, I think it's like a 40th floor starting. I did three floors where I kind of showed how the building was laid out. So this is like a f uh, finished floor with carpet and tile ready for a client to move in would probably look something like this. 
the trail go oh, yeah hope there's some wiring going on there so yes electrical panel access I got to put all the details in here and yeah, you can get pretty close and look over the edge so I think even here we're yeah really it's because this building was like 50 stories that collapsed so there's that and I think there has some detail over here too oh yeah some of these buildings I finished flushed them out and so that's that oh I actually had the stairways oh this is interesting I did have the stairwells okay also it goes down okay so we go down the stairwells and here is a furnished uh, office building with some desks oh yes because had you had a person taking the elevators they would have come here I based this off some stuff I found on the internet so this would have actually been a door so like a client would have this would have been for employee access the client would have come through here seen the secretary and then gone on but uh, here's the corner office here's the conference room I need these levels so a person could like look over the edge like in real life. So different offices. That's weird. What that's all about. Anyways, here's somebody's desk. Huh. Again. So. Oh, interesting. It's not loading a map of Manhattan. That must be a bug in this game, in this version of it. It should show the whole city and stuff, but it's not doing that. It's fine, though. Uh, what else? So. Yeah, so that's about it. See, there's a lot of offices in here. These are, you know, pretty decent sized cubicles. That let's get out of here. Right, let's take the elevator. So take huh. nope. It's a big building. So, so let's take me up. That's supposed to take me. Or and then there was uh, one level that was stripped out. Like it had been completely stripped out for total refurbishment, and that's this one. Oh, so. Well, these maps, yeah, these maps change a little bit how they behave in this version. So, it's not too bad though. You see the iron beams on top. They're like putting some floor tiles and ceiling tiles. There's rolls of carpet ready to be installed. So these well, how, these were really like this, where they had like heater vents going along these windows actually, and have a corner office. Uh, beamed out. There's an elevator, some type of service elevator. Oh, that looks actually kind of scary. Well, oh, that's interesting. I don't know why they put this much work into it. Some rolls and stuff. Yeah, so it was a pretty open area. I mean, there, a lot of it was used up by the elevator, but there's still a lot of um, open office area, I guess. So, let's go up one, or go back down. Okay. And this will take us back up to the observation decks. I did this based on a picture, so it may not be 100% accurate, but as close as I could get. Here we are. So there's restaurants and stuff up here, I guess. So that's where this color goes. There's like, of course, pictures. Some of the pictures I had were from like the from the 1970s, so they're pretty dated. But um, more restaurants and, and the like, some type of something. They had these little like bars that you could lean on while you eat, or you could come down here and look at the observation. So, I wish I'd loaded the 
map of the city, it made a big difference when you can see the city itself, but we'll go up these stairs. Oh yeah, that's right. It's places where there's like <laughs> windows on the way up. So here's our way up. I think this is the one where I was, it was sketchy. I wasn't sure exactly what it was. But anyway, we come out here. This top is pretty accurate though. So like, obviously you can get pictures from it, but Here's the observation deck. There was the other tower. And I don't really see if I keep like that map's not working, but very stuff. And there was like a helicopters could land there and this was an access point. I think this was set up so like if you landed on a helicopter you get off the helicopter, come down here, and then you would use this to enter the building here without having to deal with the tourists. Or about here. And then over here would have been um, equipment for washing the windows, which is what this concrete base would have been. And that's about it. Oh, I think I had a different staircase over here. Okay, that's when we came up. So stairways and the elevator side by side escalator. So let's see how this one will set up. So set up a little bit differently. Okay, this is the one that seemed like it wrapped around. So you can look out this building here. And then come down here. Interesting. So yeah, that's my World Trade Center model I made using Sour Broughton. There it is. And we are out. Out and about. Shopping.